Snakes and wild animals are invading a Plaquemines Parish baseball field. The parish is now warning parents and kids to beware after a coach killed a rattlesnake at Cypress Park in Bell Chase just this week. Paul Murphy joins us now from Cypress Park. This is a story not for the squeamish. <laughs> Karen, it is not quite game time here at Cypress Park. Games typically start here, we're told, around 6 o'clock. We are also told that on any given night here, there are about 100 kids either playing or practicing baseball. And we are learning on a number of occasions in recent weeks, baseball players have shared this field with some pretty dangerous snakes and other wild things. In recent weeks, there have been more than runs, hits, and errors on the baseball diamond at Cypress Park in Bell Chase. The wild hog, uh, alligators, and snakes. Plaquemines Parish Recreation Department Director Tony Henry shared pictures of some of the wild animals that took the baseball field, along with players during recent game nights here. A couple weeks ago, we had to get a, someone to come out and catch an alligator on our field, so it's, it's been very interesting. A number of poisonous snakes have also been spotted, including water moccasins and timber rattlers. Robert Landry coaches his five-year-old son's t-ball team. He saw a snake after practice the other day. When I got to messing with it, the rattler came up and started shaking and striking at the air, so I killed it. Landry and the other coaches have added a new pregame ritual. We played a game last night. Um, before the game, uh, we got there early and just walked the field and and um, made sure that there was nothing out there. Parish officials believe the animals are coming from a wooded area next to Cypress Park. A developer is clearing the land to build a new subdivision. It was a wooded area and cleaning it off, so all the snakes are moving from them. Snakes and alligators are moving from that wooded area and coming onto our parks. Plaquemines officials sent a warning to parents urging them to watch their kids while at the park, both on and off the field. Landry also gave his players some special instructions. Don't go by the ditches chasing baseballs. Just watch where they go. And so far, no one has been bit or attacked by any wild animals out here. But in talking to some parents today, they are well aware that their kids could be sharing the field with some pretty dangerous critters out there, and they are on the lookout. We're live in Bell Chase, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.